Hi everyone, I'm Iris and welcome to my channel Yang Fire Beauty. In today's video, we'll be exploring a Bollywood glam makeup. So without further ado, grab your brushes and let's get started. In order to explain why Anna already looks fully done, it's because she's sporting a Western bridal look. So I've done the foundation in, um, in a very light day look in a former video, which is the day look office glam. Um, and I've also done a Western bridal look. So if you guys haven't had a chance to, please check those out and you can, you know, um, see me building from there. So now I'm building on top of what I've done already and I'm doing a Indian bridal look. So, you know, also known as a Bollywood look. I, this is not the um, be all and end all of Indian makeup. Of course, some people are going to be wearing a lot more than the finished product of what Anna's gonna look like and some people might wear less. But the reason I've done this video is to show, you know, if you're a guest or maybe if you are in the bridal party, this is maybe, this is how you might want it to look, your face to look um, for the event. It's important to wear long wearing products as well because they're very long events, long days, long weeks even. So here I've chosen a darker smoky color and a small brush and I'm packing the color onto the lid because um, the look is supposed to be very, very dramatic and more is more. There is no less is more when it comes to Indian events. Uh, the outfits are extremely colorful as you'll see. So, um, yeah, I'm just packing on a dark smoky color on the lid. The small brush will help press the color on, whereas a fluffy brush will, it just won't be appropriate because what will end up happening is the color will just sort of get scattered all over the place. So now I'm taking a small Q-tip brush um, and I'm adding that same dark smoky mauve underneath Anna's eyes and I'm smudging it out. Um, depending on coloring, you would do something different of course. So for myself, because I have black hair and dark eyes, I would probably do something similar to what I'm doing with Anna technique wise, but I would go with a black or a brown. Um, most likely a black under my eyes. So I'm cleaning up um, under Anna's eyes and I'm reconcealing a little bit simply uh, for the fact that because we've gone so smoky, even though I've tried to be as careful as I possibly can, there's always going to be fallout when it comes to shadow, especially when it's that dark. And if we leave it and she and we photograph her later, it's just gonna look messy. So it's almost like best to go over it one more time and clean up everything and reconceal when you're done. Some people will go the other route and do their eyes first and then do the foundation after because they feel like there's so much fallout anyway. It's just too much um, cleaning up. It's personal. Okay, so um, I've chosen a pair of fairly thick, voluptuous lashes for Anna. This may or may not be what she would normally wear, but um, for Indian Bridal, we're going for it because it is a really, seriously, it's a go big or go home type thing. Like, if you have ever been to one of these events, it's really fabulous, it's amazing, everybody's dressed in beautiful outfits, different colors, lots of jewelry, and whatever you think 
you know, if you've ever wanted to wear some really, really crazy colored eyeshadow, this is where you can do it and no one's gonna look at you and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, so here I'm relining Anna's lips with a darker color. And then I've chosen um, a slightly darker lipstick because, and it's actually, I've chosen um, a darker pink to match uh, the outfit. So you guys can check out my site and you'll see um, my site for Young Fire Beauty and you'll definitely see Anna in a gorgeous pink Indian outfit. Okay, so here I'm doing a winged liner on Anna. And I don't know, I've tried a lot of different kinds of liners. I still prefer the gel pot because um, you can just take out however much you want. You don't have to worry about it drying out on you. Of course, no, that's not true. You have to keep the lid on and, or else it will dry up on you. But if you're careful with it, I feel like it lasts longer and you can get the um, color saturation you want. Um, you guys might notice that I jump around a lot and do different parts of the face, and there's a reason for that. I had to wait for the lashes to dry, and while I was doing that, um, I moved on to the lips, and then after that dried, then I went back to the eyes and I did liner. Okay guys, so as you can see, um, in conclusion, Anna's look is much more bold and uh, much more dramatic than it was in the Western Bridal and the Day Look video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'll try to answer or address them as, as needed. Um, so what else can I say about this? Basically, I've chosen this palette for Anna because she's fair and she's blonde. And this is about as dramatic as I feel would look good on her. Everyone's gonna be different. Uh, for myself, I would have gone off on like the grays and the browns and probably gone with a red lipstick. But once again, I'm fair and I have dark hair. So depending on the palette you have, it all changes. So you know, if you have a different palette than either of us, which you know, I'm sure somebody will, feel free to you know, leave your comments and questions. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're able to find this video informative, please feel free to subscribe and like Yangfire Beauty. And also check out my Instagram at irisajax.makeup. Love you guys.